Days after a deadly shooting outside of Trisco Heritage High School, the student accused of pulling the trigger, then trying to ditch the gun, went in front of a judge today. Spencer Schott sat in on Adrian Martinez's pretrial detention hearing. Spencer, what did a judge decide? Well, Ryan, after hearing from the state and the victim's mom, the judge quickly made the decision to hold the teen in jail. The state argued not only is Martinez a danger to the public and himself because he owned multiple guns, they also argued that if he was released, he could be a flight risk. According to the police report, after the other student was shot, Martinez gave the gun to a third student, telling he her to bury them, and instead, she called 911. While Martinez did drive the victim to the hospital, he then ran to a nearby restaurant trying to get rid of the bloody clothing in his car, and that's where he was arrested. Gun violence is so rampant in, in our community, and it's just rather shocking that, that the awareness regarding children who possess guns and the danger involved with that um, was somehow missed by Adrian. Now, during today's hearing, we also heard from the mother of the victim. She says learning her son was shot and killed was extra hard because she knew Adrian as her son's best friend. She was also concerned when she heard Martinez then fled the scene. If he thought it was his last time <clears throat> that he would see him, I would think that he would want to comfort his best friend and not run and try to think about hiding guns and make, telling people to tell different stories. Later in the hearing, the defense argued because the shooting was an accident and Martinez has no prior run-ins with the law, he should be released back to his parents. But the judge disagreed. I'm going to find uh, that Adrian is a danger to the community. Uh, I hear what you're saying, Mr. Ortega, about uh, the intent, uh, but a child with the the access to guns uh, that Adrian had uh, and then the misuse of guns is incredibly dangerous uh, to the community and so I am going to hold him at this time. The state also added that they plan on charging Martinez as an adult and will be filing that notice in the coming days. His next hearing is scheduled for January 16th and that will still be in juvenile court. Ryan. Access and misuse of guns. We've heard that before. Spencer, thank you.